Welcome back. Marquette is celebrating the opening of its new municipal service center today. This morning, TV6's Nicole Buckman joins us live from the $18 million building located on Wright Street. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Vicki. I'm so excited to be here in the morning with you guys and even more excited to be at the new Municipal Center. Now with me is the Director of the Public Works and Utilities, Kirk Goodman. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And so we are here at the, about a year ago, this Municipal Center was just breaking ground. Nothing was here and now it's this beautiful two-story building. Now, Kirk, can you tell me a little bit about how excited you are that it's finally complete? No, it's a uh I think I'm excited. I think uh, the workers here are excited. I think uh, the residents of uh, City Marquette should be uh, very proud of this facility. Um, it's been a long process, um, over three years um, of planning. And then, uh, like you said, the construction of this actually happened in 13 months. And uh, it's a 92,000 square foot building. And it, it, it's, a, it's a good feeling to have it accomplished, done. And I think uh, um, really something to be proud of. Awesome. Well, right now we are on the second floor of the building. Now, Kurt, can you give us a little bit of a walking tour and a little bit about what's going on up on this floor? Sure. Um, one thing, uh, this the second floor, uh, our engineering department, our operations with our supervisor works out of here, the superintendents um, of uh, public works and facilities, and also engineering and community development is part of this um, new facility. Awesome. Well, there is a giant garage if we want to walk towards that way. Now this is the second floor, um, so these are mostly office buildings right here? Correct. Awesome. And, and these are the supervisors you were saying? Yep. Some of them have their individual offices. Awesome. And what other new features are in these offices? Um, uh, and I saw on the doors there's a lot of automatic um, openers. Yep. This is uh, pretty much state of the art um, for security reasons and also to control the, the flow of traffic so, um, and be more efficient. Awesome. All right, so we're taking you to the new giant garage. Um, now, Kurt, tell me a little bit about what goes on here. Okay, this is pretty much the, this is the facility that really we uh, operate out of here to, uh, to, to do the, uh, the work around the streets, the plowing, the uh, water distribution. So anything to do with municipal um, services is operated out of this facility. Wow, and, and why is it important that the space is so big? Um, well, Marquette's, you know, we got a lot of uh, the, the, uh, infrastructure to take care of. Um, we have to uh, maintain our equipment, and it, it's a luxury to have the equipment to protect it indoors. Awesome. Well, we'll have more on this new center later in the hour. Reporting live in Marquette, Nicole Buckman, TV6 News. Back to you, Vicki. Happening today, a ribbon cutting ceremony for Marquette's new $18 million municipal service center on Wright Street over near NMU. This morning, TV6's Nicole Buckman helping us out to get an inside look at the facility. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Vicki. That's right. I'm live at the new Municipal Center where earlier this hour we got the inside look on the inside of the building and the garage and now we're in the maintenance center. Joining me live is Eric Steeman, the superintendent of maintenance. Good morning Good and morning. tell me a little bit about what's going on and what goes on in this, this center. Well, in vehicle maintenance out here, we, we maintain the entire fleet of the city. We have uh, nearly 300 pieces of equipment. You know, we handle everything from the most basic, uh, you know, pickup truck that does the, the parks, you know, and maintains the parks all the way on up to uh, um, plow trucks, on up to the fire trucks. We service all our, our fire department as well. Wow. And, and going on behind us is a lift. Um, tell, tell me a little bit what's going on behind us. Yeah, we were able to make a few improvements in the building, and, and the lifts are one of them. Um, the lifts allow us to uh, lift just about every piece of equipment we, ha we have. In fact, it, we can do everything. We've had everything from uh, fully loaded fire trucks, you know, onto this vector truck that's here behind us now. And when we, we put them up, we can see so much better. We can, we can see oil leaks that we never saw before. It just has really improved our maintenance operations. Awesome. And so these lifts are a little newer and more improved. What else is uh, a little bit more improved in this uh, new uh, municipal center? The, you know, there's a lot of similarities here, but as far as layout, but we improve the size of everything and the efficiency. So our bridge cranes are newer. You know, we still stay with the, the floor vehicle exhaust. We have our centralized lube system. Um, but, you know, lighting's better. It's easier for the guys to work. It's more energy efficient. 
and it's just a, a better all working environment. And now this has uh, taken about a year to create and two years in planning. Um, tell me a little bit about how excited that you guys are and your workers are for this new building. Oh, they love it. You know, in our temporary quarters um, where the hospital is going up, they were crammed into a space about maybe a quarter of this. And, you know, we maintained and we, we kept the fleet going as, as we needed to. But, you know, now to have a, a real shop, we're able to uh, do it, get right back into it and do full um, plow teardowns and, and full engine rebuilds and do everything here in-house. And, and now why is this important that you guys have a maintenance uh, area here? With such a large fleet, you know, being able to service all the equipment ourselves, um, it, not only is it a, a time saver for, for the what's going out on, on the streets, but it also allows us to save money in the long run. We're saving taxpayer money by doing it ourselves, you know, keeping all the work local here and keeping the fleet moving and keeping the, the streets plowed and, and, the, and the fire department up and running. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Eric. Now, there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony later on this morning, but that's about it. I'm reporting live in Marquette, Nicole Buckman, TV6 News.